Okay, good afternoon everybody. Uh, we will continue to topic on our Swang Ho product today. So today topic uh, is Jiao Ho seasoning. Uh, it is a very simple topic. Um, the perfect seasoning for great taste and good health. I think it's a very relevant topic now because uh, in Singapore, everybody are staying at home. Uh, I think due to the COVID-19 situation, I think we are not encouraged to go out for dining. Uh, the also, I think most of the time when we dine, the number of group people allowed being in the fast food, uh, being in the hawker center or in the restaurant also control. I think most of the people cooking at home, uh, there's a bottom line. So I think it's good that we introduce this kind of product, the whole seasoning uh, for people uh, for uh, how to enhance their taste. Wow, it's a very a safe type of seasoning used. Okay, let's look at what is seasoning. Food. So seasoning are ingredient you add to the food to improve its flavor in the following way. Uh, number one, enhancing natural taste. So uh, make the natural taste of the food more intense or noticeable. Like for example, if you are cooking a pasta, I think you all know what's pasta. Uh, normally, or being a, a, a me or Chinese are me, while they are making or cooking, they have to add a little salt to the water. That make your the 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 me or the pasta really taste like the me or pasta. I think that's enhancing natural taste. And the second uh, uh, way that season is being used is uh, balancing the taste. We help to overcome very strong taste, uh, especially some food that are very sour, sweet or bitter. For example, uh, some vegetable taste uh, bitter, so we add some salt. The reason we eat salt is that when we taste a bit salt, uh, salt, then the vegetable will not be so bitter. So that is actually balancing the taste. Cutting richness. Okay, change the way a very rich or fatty food taste. For example, I think you will know that vinegar or lemon juice are used to put on some of the uh, so-called uh, cooking. For example, uh, uh, sometimes we, uh, we cook a fish or sometimes we cook uh, something. Like example given here is lemon juice or vinegar improve the taste of the mayonnaise by making it taste less rich or oily. So on the oily food or very rich taste food, normally we put on some uh, lemon juice or vinegar to actually calm the rich or fatty food taste. Okay, what are the type of seasoning? Okay, I think uh, very common. I uh, only uh, segregate them into uh, a few groups. Number one is herbs. Herbs, I think everybody know, is a leaf of the plants that provide flavor and aroma to recipe. Okay, I think um, uh, a lot certain common herb like include mint, rosemary, basil, on uh, etc. So I think this one uh, we uh, I think in Western cooking they use a lot of this herb. And the second thing is spices. So spices herb actually most of the time make from the plant leaf. Spices is a plant fruits, seeds, roots, flower or the uh, trunk itself. So I think like for example Indians cooking they are very famous by using spices uh, used for flavoring and also coloring sometimes you can see yellow color or turmeric uh, kind of uh, spices or red color chili so it's actually not only flavoring but coloring as well salt I think very common uh, almost everybody use salt for cooking so it's as I mentioned earlier it used as a seasoning to enhance the taste of the food Others, like uh, in Chinese, we have this uh, sauce uh, being a uh, soya sauce, a uh, dark sauce, okay, and also some marinades. For example, sometimes you want to you want to do a barbecue food, you have this marinade sauce. So this is the type of seasoning, herbs, spiced, spices, salt, or others. Okay, I want to talk about uh, this thing called MSG. Uh, monosodium glutamate MSG. I'm not sure you heard about this MSG. I think most of people, yes, right. 
I think it's manufactured by Ajinomoto, very famous. <laughs> Uh, in Asia, a lot of people are using it. Okay, even for uh, for us last time, but nowadays we don't have, we don't use anymore. We have used another one type that we want to introduce later. But I think a lot of people still understand what is MSG. Um, MSG is not actually a salt, but it's used the uh, same way as a salt. And um, he, you know what taste he provides? He provides the umami, umami taste. In my, you don't understand what this umami means. Actually, uh, in in this uh, there are fifth, there are five type of core taste. Uh, in our food, like sweet, sour, bitter, and salty, and this uh, umami taste is number fifth. So it's often described as a meaty and savory deliciousness, and he have a very dimpled flavor. So it's a it's a taste itself. But it's a more, uh, delicious, more like a very delicious kind of a taste. That's why, in cooking, or people say in restaurant, uh, when they cook, most of the time they'll put MSG. Uh, a lot of people might be curious, where is MSG come from? It's actually produced through fermentation of plant-based ingredients such as sugar cane, sugar beets, cassava, or corn. So I think it should be quite safe, right? I think it's actually is a fermentation or plant-based ingredient. So it's no big deal actually. However, if you eat too much MSG, you still feel thirsty. It's because MSG contains sodium or salt, as simple as that. Sometimes you go to a restaurant after you eat the dish, you say, oh, how come it tastes so salty? Huh? After coming, you need to drink a lot of water. Ah, there might be some, must be eating a lot of MSG. In actual fact, it's just because of the salt used. Okay, however, if you consume about 3 grams, it may induce symptoms such as headache and drowsiness. Okay, so cannot consume too much. Huh? But however, the FDA has classified MSG as a food ingredient that is generally recognized as safe. GRS. So just to assure you, uh, MSG, although a lot of um, uh, some kind of bad review kind of thing, but it's still safe if you use moderately. And uh, I mean, MSG, how MSG should be used is that you should use after cooking, after boiling, then you put it in. You should not boil the MSG. So that is a way of safe use. So bottom line, MSG is quite safe. You use it in a moderate way. However, I want to introduce you a, a seasoning that we have. It's even more safe and better. So Jiaohuo seasoning, okay, you can see from the picture. Uh, it's a flavoring for great taste and good health. So not only taste, but a good health. Why? Now look at the sound of the ingredient that we have in this seasoning and what's the function and benefits that it has. Okay, number one, you can see this uh, very big Ling Zhi. Eh? We are Gadodema company. So all our product, most of them will have this Ling Zhi. Uh, this one is called Purple Ling Zhi. Uh, in actual fact, you look at it's a black Ling Zhi, lah, but it's not, it's a Purple Ling Zhi. Purple Ling Zhi is actually a uh, lot of uh, benefits. Uh, benefiting the vital energy, qi, healing bronchitis, actually is actually also elevating mental function and calming the nerve. So actually good for the qi, and also enhancing the blood and lowering blood pressure. Uh, smooth urination, I think very good for kidney. Uh, okay, reduce the uh, swelling, and also uh, good for your liver. Uh, healing chronic hepatitis, uh, improve condition of dematic arthritis. In Songho, um, there's actually a product, Pure Ling Zi itself. I think those products in uh, Ling Zi product in uh, Singapore or Malaysia, being Jiaho, Yongkian, uh, uh, even the new range of product, we are all in the range of Gardodema Lucidum or it's a, a red color Ling Zi. But in Taiwan, there's a Ling Zi that having a so-called uh, accreditation for actually longevity, uh, for strong antioxidation, for prolonged life. Um, this Ling Zi, okay, is actually we call, uh, I'm not wrong, call uh, Yi Ping Ling Zi. It's actually made from the purple Ling Zi. So purple Ling Zi itself has many good benefits, especially on uh, and, uh, for anti-aging and prolonged life. Uh. So uh, we're not selling this grade of Ling Zi product in 
Singapore or Malaysia. If you want, I think you can eat seasoning uh, because seasoning you have this purple lingzi. Okay, we also have this thing called a uh, Chi Ye Tan uh, Gostema Panther Film. And this is a product we have it in Nuchun Tea, in case you don't know. Chi Ye Tan is very famous, Jiao Gu Lan or Chi Ye Tan. Actually, if you really study all the Chinese um, so-called uh, documents, Chi Ye Tan itself has a very good kind of the efficacy, no? Because it actually has 80 type of saponin. Saponin is actually found in ginseng, uh, in case you don't know. So it actually offer a rich base of amino acid, vitamin, mineral, and other variable nutrients. And in actual fact, Chi Ye Tan or Gaussian Pentaphilum, the, the nutritional content saponin is actually higher than that of the Korea ginseng. So, uh, well, Ruchunti, we have the this powder stemma, pentafilm, and also jiao seasoning. So we have a very good effect. Okay, you have this thing called shiitake mushroom. Uh, I think a lot of people know about this. You have an agosterol that content that is capable of revitalizing the function of the brain and getting rid of the cholesterol in the blood. So I think this is a very good yeast powder, rich in protein and vitamin B group vitamin. Uh, it gives an enticing taste of the sweetness. Seaweed extract powder, I think uh, Japanese have been looking seaweed in uh, a lot of cooking. Actually, seaweed contains polysaccharide and also a lot of mineral. So it's actually it's a good uh, food ingredient. Uh. You can use seaweed to cook some soup at home or you want to eat it uh, just uh, like a salad kind of thing. It's very good. And uh, I mean, being a Japanese or I think even Korean also eat uh, a lot. So it's rich in amino acid that give food we cook a unique taste of sweetness. So this is a very uh, good ingredient used. Why Jiao seasoning compared to other seasoning in the market? It's a natural, a rich brand of the precious ingredient I mentioned just now. Health can find enhancing 14 type of essential amino acid, vitamin B1, B2 and a variable mix of trace element. Peace of mind, no chemical additive. And you can use in an extensive and diverse application. Okay, you have gives it a different cooking fly, uh, cooking soup, all kind of thing, even as a marinade. Uh, you have a very freshly sweet in taste, delicious even for simple recipe. Even on the cook Maggie Me, uh, you just put, you also can put uh, you can just throw, if you don't want the, the, the so called a pack of seasoning provided by the uh, I mean come with the meal, uh, you can Substitute with this, so there's a, a versatile way of doing the, using this. Who should consume? For people who like to enjoy healthy cooking, I think as I mentioned, now a lot of people cook at home. You cannot go out to dine, I think as simple as that. Huh? So we are gonna lock down at home. You have to cook your own food. I always mention, if you don't know how to cook, ah, you must use our seasoning. You just do it. Whatever you do, you just put it inside. If you know how to cook, you have to use this seasoning. You enhance your cooking skill further. So it's very good, nah? So especially in the current in the current situation. Whether you know how to cook or don't know how to cook, you have to cook at home. Or you have to call a uh, food delivery. I think that's also not so convenient. And uh, no artificial flavoring. Um uh, rem it can remove unpleasant fishy smell of seafood and enhancing its original flavor. I think this is important. If you like to eat seafood, you put in this seasoning. Actually, you can take away the uh, fishy smell of the seafood and enhancing its original flavor. Uh, it's catered for both vegans and non-vegans, so it's okay for vegetarians. So don't need to worry. Recommended usage. Okay, if you to fry a fish, a dish or vegetable, you can add half a sachet. You prepare a, like a 1 liter to 1.5 liter soup, you can add one sachet. Okay, the amount of seasoning used depends on the individual taste. So I think you can try yourself. So in summary, uh, it's a, a seasoning that is a natural, health enhancing, safe consumption, convenient of use. Uh, it can have versatile use and uh, of course, taste good in the cooking. So okay, it's a natural extract with rich nutrient attribute, more superior than a lot of other food flavoring in the market, make your dishes more yummy and also health giving. I think that's important. Okay, thank you. That's all for